Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Today we have the last quarterfinal battle of the greatest touring car driver ever super tournament. Before we get into today's battle, I just want to remind you to go vote on the other three quarterfinal battles. There's little time left to do so, but if you haven't already, check out Bernd Schneider versus Yvonne Muller, Gabriele Tarquini versus Laurent Aiello, and Andy Rouse versus Jose Maria Lopez. Check each of those three videos and leave a vote for your favourite driver by writing their name in the comments. Same goes for this final quarterfinal battle, Jason Plato versus Matt Neal, and how perfect these two should come face to face. For a long old time, they were rivals in the British Touring Car Championship, battling year in and year out, and now they go head to head once again. So make sure you subscribe, go vote, and let's begin. Firstly, let's see how they got here. Matt Neal saw off the challenge of Matthias Ekstrom. Something of a surprise, as I thought Ekstrom would take this, but Matt Neal won 3-1. Jason Plato and Tom Christensen went to a two-all draw, so I will be the picker of the winner, and I picked Jason Plato, mostly because, without a doubt, Tom Christensen is one of the best in the world overall, but his time in touring cars was good, but not amazing. Whereas Jason Plato has more BTCC wins than anyone ever. And it sets up a mouth-watering quarter-final tie between two of the most successful British touring car stars ever. So, as always, I will lay down an argument for both. And all you have to do is leave a comment with either driver's name. The one with the most votes will go on to the semi-final. It's as simple as that, so let's begin with Matt Neal. Matt Neal is a 30-year legend of the British Touring Car Series. He has the second most race wins in the series history, over 700 races, multiple independent trophies, as well as three British Touring Car Championship wins, all for Honda. The Honda Integra that took Matt Neal to success in 2005 and 2006 was a revelation and a lucky break because there was a time when we thought Matt Neal may never win a championship. But those years plugging away did eventually pay off. Can you imagine how many wins and championships Matt Neal would have if he didn't spend over a decade racing in the independent class in his second-hand Ford Mondeos and BMWs? It was the giant killing Nissan Primera that first led Matt Neal to glory. At Donington Park in 1999, eight years after he debuted, he became the first independent in the two-litre era to take an overall victory. But it had been coming for years. You'd often see Matt Neal mixing it with the manufacturer-backed drivers and fairly often getting punted off into the outfield. He didn't stick around with Peugeot in 2001, a wise move seeing as Peugeot couldn't win a race in the BTCC, even if everyone else came down with sudden blindness. He first returned with Vauxhall, then Honda, winning championships before another brief return to Vauxhall, and again with Honda, another championship in 2011. Matt Neal has struggled more in recent years. He last won in 2018 and hasn't really been a title contender since 2013. But he has the second most wins in the championship and three titles. Essentially, the third most successful driver in BTCC history, with only Andy Rouse and Colin Turkington having more championships. He has also won a race in the European Touring Cars and finished second in the Bathurst 1000. A lot of success over a lot of years. Jason Plato likewise is an old hand. He first raced in the BTCC in 1997. Since then, he has only sat out 2002, 2003 and 2020. In his 22 years in the series, he has won a race every year except 2018 and 2021. He may have only won two championships, but that is largely down to his wreck or win driving style. Good for individual race wins, but not so much for championships. It has led to Plato amassing more wins than any other driver in BTCC history by a large margin. 97 wins is 34 more than Matt Neal in second on the list. This includes 26 wins at Brands Hatch, 26 wins at one circuit in one series. Unlike Matt Neal who had most of his success in Hondas and some in Vauxhalls, Jason Plato has raced for a whole host of different manufacturers. Renault, Vauxhall, Seat, Chevrolet, Volkswagen, MG and Subaru. He has won races for every manufacturer he has raced for. He's also finished in the top three of the championship 13 times out of 22. 
I think the only statistic that lets him down is the two championships. Plato races hard, and that has stopped him from being the all-time championship record holder. He could have won two or three more championships, but has had some eye-watering crashes in the past. He's also had very little success outside the BTCC. He has a podium in the World Touring Car Series back in 2005, but Plato has really stepped foot outside the British Touring Cars. Surely his goal before retirement is to get those last three wins and get his win record up to 100. That would be the kind of numbers you want to retire on. But has he earned your vote? So that is the conclusion to a fascinating tie. Matt Neal or Jason Plato? These two have come to blows in the past, but they are both legends of BTCC and an argument for who is better. It's difficult to answer. They are both so successful. But who do you think is the best? Leave a comment down below for your favourite touring car driver and they will head on to the semi-final, which will also be the final. These videos have been fun to make, but they haven't had as many comments as I'd hoped. So the semi-final will be out in a couple of weeks and will be a four-way. Leave your votes and I will probably leave it open-ended. I may come back to this concept in the future, but it was not meant to be for now. Leave your vote below and go back and vote on the other videos. The final video will be released around the start of the Formula 1, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Leave a like and tell your friends, thank you for watching, and have a good one.